What's going on, Explorers? Brandon Abandoned, 6 4 Explorer, Explorer with Herbeck Cichlin. I got a neat little spot here today. I'm out with Greg on a little road trip, and he showed me this place here. It's just a bungalow, but it's a real nice bungalow. There's decay, there's a few nice features left. When we just found out now, the power's on, so that's pretty weird. We checked from the fridge, we found out that way. This house, like I said, cool little neat things all around. You're gonna love it. Let's get exploring. So this is the doorway we got to come in, the back door. Look at the size of that cobweb. And you're gonna notice, oh, come down. There's the basement, but then we got a messed up kitchen. That was Greg, you just seen. As I said, we're out on a day trip exploring. What's happening, everybody? Subscribe to his channel, check out his videos. Great content. Thank you. You see them. Ceilings just down on the floor. Nasty when the water starts happening like that. We got old, interesting, real kitschy, country style wallpaper. But I like it. I won't lie, I like it. There's nothing in the cupboards. There's nothing in the fridge, but I opened it up because I always like to see what's in there. You guys know that. And check it out. Power. So we tried to flick a few light switches to see what we could get. A nice bright orange plug there. More wallpaper. This one's a little bit uglier than the last. I like this old oil lamp style light. There's the front door to the house. Coat hangers all through this place. For all my long time people, never a house without coat hangers, and I don't know why. Like, I know why you leave them, but there's just some houses where it's the most decayed house ever. There's not a thing in it, and then boom, there'll be one coat hanger. Just to mess with me, I think. This beautiful living room. Nice windows, lots of light. They even got a beautiful cove here. Nice detail. There's no light in it, but it hides the drapery. It's very cool. Got a mirror hanging out. And again, the water damage is messing this floor right up. So you can see it's starting to lift. I like this old light here. You'd have your chair set up, you'd be reading. Maybe the fire going. This time of year, you'd be having the fire going because it's getting cold. The beautiful wood above it. So, like, there's a little bit of like 80s, 90s. This could be a little bit of the 70s. But what do you think of this? Is that a 70s light? I almost want to say it's like 50s. But it's really cool. Looks sharp. Looks dangerous. That's groovy. Very groovy. All right, we're gonna take a peek at this old. Old heat register. Let's come this way, make our way down the hallway. What's happening, Greg? What's happening, man? <laughs> He's hiding out just to not put too many voices in the video. This is a loud or a small house. We both got loud voices, so we're doing it step by step so we don't kill each other's each other's video. It's teamwork. Hello? Hello? There's no power on there. But it's got that old green color. I love that. Now we've got a dead animal here on the ground. That's never good to see. I hate when they get stuck in houses because all they do is end up crapping everywhere but then they end up having to eat that or eat the ground to survive. It's just a really sad situation. I love animals way too much for that. Giant big mirror, more light coves. See, they had a lot of nice detail to this house. It was actually very cool. It's pretty darn gross the way that the floor is making swampy noises as I step. Oh, those ain't opening. The wood is way too warped. Got a bedroom here. 
with another light. We've checked to see which ones worked. We turned them on. And you know how we do, we're gonna make sure that we turn them off afterwards. There's a nice window, still all the curtains around. We got a real messy room here. I don't know if that was somebody trying to save it, but that turkey tray is definitely not, oh, two turkey trays. That's definitely a not, not enough, not a big enough container to, to contain all this water. And that's weird, eh? That's real makeshift, because this is like a bedroom. And then you've got this makeshift plumbing coming up into here. Maybe it was used as like a laundry room, but I think that was down in the basement. Maybe that play, maybe this was a, a situation where they were growing. A lot of the times in the grow off houses, I've seen that they rig up their own water like that from the basement upstairs because it's not coming from the town. It's coming straight out of the ground, straight out of a sub pump, or so that way they're not getting charged. They don't know that they're getting so much water used at this house to come and investigate. This is a beautiful, beautiful, huge closet. I really like that. Nice old wood, crap ton of coat hangers. That's just sweet. So this is it for the main floor. So we're just gonna do a, just one walk back to do a wee little scan. All right, you guys, I just missed a little feature that I didn't show while I was filming, but I seen while I was taking my pictures. Check this out. So it's all separate stamps. Is there a way I can get it with my light so it's not too bad? Check that out. It's all separate stamps that he put on himself. And those look old. Like real old stamps. Hopefully it's in view, in focus. But I like stuff like that. That's just really cool. I had to show you guys. And look at that, the old colors. And the fact that it still has that nice color. That's very, very, very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the basement. It's, it's, it's kind of ugly. But there's some, there's some cool things left behind. Oi. <laughs> I had to duck right down to get under that. Old 6-4 is a little too tall for these old stairs. So we've got this really cool old trunk here. I wanted to show. to see what's in it. Some old tools and wires, an old wheel. But I love these old wooden trunks. They're very, very cool. I guess since we're right here, might as well just check it out. <laughs> Those aren't moving, but these aren't bringing anything and you'd be able to hear it. So it's definitely no water The old sink sorry about the light that's really bright coming in the window there <laughs> I'm gonna start on this side Somebody at one point must have come in that window there And then it looked like this here was also boarded off so they must have kicked that down to get into the house it's crazy, I don't understand. Like you can just come here and check on it every now and then. Eventually someone will open it a nicer way. That light's on, but that's all it does. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't trust it. Look at this old dartboard. Made in Scotland. Milbro product. Let's just see if that's got a year on the back or anything. No. But I've never seen a double-sided dartboard before. That's really cool. This side doesn't have metal wires and this side does. So we'll leave the metal side out. Looks better. 
Look at the way the wall's warping. I didn't even notice that. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's so cool. The vinyl wood. This place has flooded pretty good a couple times, you can tell. I'm not sure what this is. If you guys know, let me know. Like, it's a weird little... It's almost like a trap or something, right? You pull this and it opens it up and closes. Like his own little homemade thing. I like it. Nice old stove. It's a fireplace, but they almost put a stove. <laughs> it's cool looking. And some more warped wood. There's nothing in there, I already opened it up. It's actually quite uh, quite clean on the inside. It's the cleanest thing in the house, including the house itself. Whoop. Let's keep on cruising. A bunch of old wood. Newspaper. Like, we won't be able to date the house from this newspaper. I'll still see if I can't find a date just for fun. Um. Oh. Oh, it's gone off that one, too. Saturday, July 21st, 1973. So we got a whole lot of old 70s newspapers. If that might help, help to date a little bit. As you can tell with the way that it's moldy and messed up, it's been a benefit for a while. I wouldn't say since the 70s, of course, but this thing's got to be at least five, five to ten years. Now I really like this. See, because like these are 70s also, are they not? Got an old, let's do that. Got an old Budweiser. Or sorry, <laughs> an old Abat 50. And then a Carlsberg. The old stubby bottles. This one's still full. Still got the lid on it. Still got the liquid inside. Like that's really, really cool. I like old beer bottles. My grandpa, he collects them. He collected them for a long time, all of them, from all over the world, because he travels a lot. And him and my grandma. But now he just collects beer bottles with the word red in it. <laughs> it's very cool though. He's got the nicest setup for him. So I do appreciate old old beer bottles, especially the old stubbies. They're very neat. And see this piece of wood here? Like it, it moves a little bit. I think these stairs weren't here at some point <laughs> and you could close that right up. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. See this thing's messed right up. Real, real old furnace. A Garwood. That's pretty cool. MFD by Engineering Industries Co. Limited. Tempered air. Some nasty water still hanging out in it. That's cool. and closed. This place starting to get moldy. Not looking good. We've got an old piece of machinery here. Like a random hydraulic press almost. Um, a hand worked <laughs> hydraulic press. There's no hydraulics to it anymore but it, that's what it's meant to be. That's the old version of the hydraulic press. And then there we go again, more coat hangers hanging on the ceiling. That's it for this cool house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So Greg, he came down here and 
he likes to flick more light switches than I do. And it turns out that all the lights in the basement work. And those are some big, big crazy looking bulbs too. It works in this room. We still got power in this room. So yeah, this place, I wonder what's going on with it. Why is it sitting here in this bad of shape, but it's still got the power. So I just noticed these, so I wanted to show them. There's, looks like maybe about 15 or so. But is that a discus? For people who know, it says Canadian Blackbird. And it's just a little plaster, you know what I mean, type <laughs> disc. So is that a discus? If you know that it is or isn't, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious about stuff like that. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that explore. What a cool little bungalow. Sitting there with the power on. I think I've maybe started to find out why houses are sitting there for so long. Turns out, once you demolish a house on a property, you only get five years until you have to have another building or structure built fully done with power, with water, everything, plumbing, the whole nine. So if you buy the property in the house, if you don't demolish it, then that time limit doesn't start. So some of these houses I'm sure are sitting there because they don't want that time limit to start. But I hope you guys enjoyed that house. What a cool house. All the little features in it. That light was amazing. Let me know in the comments what year that was. If you notice, I'm not at the house anymore. I forgot to film my outro. So we made it back to the truck. I'm going to film it here. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for your comments, for your love, for your view, all the support. I'm going to catch you on the next Explore. Ciao for now. With the way the pipes are coming through the floor, just From up to the, the wall. Ashes, we will rise. Will you follow or will you leave? Will you be lions or will you be sheep? We are the